Location is incredibly important. And there's a lot of apps that wouldn't work at all if they didn't have access to location. So take, for example, Uber. If they didn't have access to your location as you've requested a ride, they wouldn't know where to go and pick you up. And vice versa, if you, don't, if you didn't have access to the rider's location, you might have no indication of when they're going to show up, if they're in traffic, all that jazz. So location data is incredibly important. And we're going to have a quick look at how we can set up a basic app that shows you how you work with location data. So one of the first things that we need to do is we don't want to build location, um, that all, all the, the, the basic um, requirements or features that you need for location data uh, from scratch. So we're just going to install the one that Eric made here. Um, where you have a bunch of different actions that you can do. You can request location, you can watch your location, um, and requesting a location is basically just getting your own location, <coughs> and watch location would be, like in the case of Uber, when the driver is coming to you, you, you want to see how they're moving closer to you. So you, there's a ton of use cases where you can use location data. Um, <coughs> we're going to install it. And then we're going to create like a basic app. So um, in this case, we want a headline. So we're just going to add in a headline or heading. Heading one. And we're going to call this um, get my location data. And then we will want to add in a button. And that's going to kind of be the one that triggers where we um, that we get the, the location data. So put in a button. And we also actually want a link. So that's going to be the last thing. So once you press the button, it triggers a link. So we're going to add that in. And there's a lot going on on the screen right now. We're just going to remove them um, one by one or make clean it up a little bit. So I'm going to do this so my eyes don't hurt, add a little gap. And then we're going to create a variable because we want a variable to house the location data in. Um, and we do this. We call it location basic. And we want this to do uh, nothing. And then we want to, on the button, we want to create a click event. So out here, we're going to create a click event. and. Actually, before we do that, we um, no. Let's let's create the click event, and then we will um, go to events, and then we're gonna click here on plus. We're gonna do get location. That wouldn't have loaded before before uh, we we installed the package. Now it does because we installed the package, so we get basically a ton of stuff for free. What we want to do now is we want to do um, on success. We want to set something up because every time you are successful with something, you'll I mean you'll want an action to happen. So this is like a small workflow that we're gonna set up. So here we're gonna do um, on success, get lo set location, and then we're basically done with this part. So now when we click the button. We're going to set location. Um, and then we want to go into the, the link. So that's here. And then we want to create an attribute. And we go here. And in this, uh, let's do this first. So we're going to add a formula based attribute. And we are going to do um, location. And then we're going to do Google Maps location link. Actually, sorry, I'm going to do it the other way around. So like this, because then we get the Google Maps location link with the location that we request. So, so far, so good. And then we're going to click on the here because we're done with this part. And then we're going to create like a small um, show, uh, show hide here, show hide. And we're going to do it based on location. And the we want to make sure that the default 
uh, setting of location is false. So we're going to go back here. And then we are going to um, set the default to, let's do null here, null. Because then it by default doesn't show what we need it to show. And then we should actually be done. So let's try to see what happens when we go in and test this. So you can click and then it asks me to allow location. This is important because otherwise like you don't want people monitoring your location at all times. But in this case, we'll allow it. And then there's a link and then I click it and then it shows my exact location on a Google map. So that's essentially how you um, work with this kind of feature, which is pretty cool.